time for the SVJ complete makeover reveal. Oh, the Clitoran is dead. <laughs> no! Look, dude, just a ton of fuel. So basically, cars not going anywhere. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. Before we go into the other room and show you guys the reveal of the SVJ full makeover, we are here at Protective Film Solutions, who also own Glon Ceramic, and in partnership with them, we can finally bring to you our own DD car care line. This is what we use to clean our cars over the last two years, and finally, it's available for the DD fam. This is like the first run of it. Like, this is gonna be limited edition. We've been repping the Glon products for the last two years that clean our cars, all do it yourself, Easy enough for two morons like us. DVCarCare.com, there's a link in description. We honestly trust this stuff for cleaning our cars. So we got ceramic soap, waterless wash, detail spray, and ceramic spray. Protect your car, clean your car, support Daily Driven Exotics. We can make stupid videos for you guys. Link in the top of the description, DVCarCare.com. Now let's go look at the SVJ and it's crazy. And by the way, we got Dean Carney over here. Hey, Dean's here. Yeah! <laughs> we probably should wash Dean with this. He's a dirty son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, guys, time for the SVJ complete makeover reveal. Without any further ado, thank you to Skeppel, PFS, Lawns, and our boys at AL13 because they redid the wheels. Check it out right now. I present to you the brand new SVJ. Yeah, yeah. Is a now I'm going to break it down real simple. If you go inside, she's controlling your mental. Damn the sentence. Flip my world upside down. Fresh prints. I've been praying to her presence ever since she make me want to worship 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 she make me want to worship 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 make me want to worship all right guys i hope you guys are as excited about the new makeover as i am the most notable thing is that we've never really done white wheels on any of our builds very temporarily we did what white wheels on the supra supra so going back to the supra a few years ago we now have white wheels again and i've always done typically like a bright colored wrap one time I had dark kind of Nardo gray base yeah. with a little bit of a camo design over with the racetracks. But I really wanted to go even darker this time. So this is what we got. This is the SCV12 race car, right? That's right. A new Lamborghini race car. Had this prototype camo on it in an orange pattern. And in the end, I was like, let's just pull all the color out and go with a darker, meaner looking theme. I feel like the SVJ really looks good with this like mean, tough look to it. Uh, I was also inspired by Alex Gintani's uh, SVJ because his is just right from the factory, satin black. The whole wrap is satin, even this white. All of the logos are actually a gloss white. So when you see this in person, your eyes are gonna be able to feast on the car. So you have a lot of different tones. We went back here and we changed the SVJ from its previous red to a yellow to pull that color out of the calipers. I didn't wanna go as far as changing caliper color on this. I felt like with this and the yellow, it really tied into the interior. And of course, these are the same wheels I had before from AL13. I did a black originally because I was inspired by the amazing Diablo GTR but then we decided to go white because I think them in white they just pop a lot more you can really see all the angles this is a three-piece wheel this is all titanium black hardware so you can see how like this has a lip that goes in and then you actually have a lip right here that steps out before you go into the five spoke design and they took it a step further when they were gonna refinish these they took 2.6 pounds of weight out of each wheel by doing some really cool pocketing on the backside we now have a lighter, faster car. Probably not when I'm driving, according to Dean. You son of a a huge thank you to Protective Film Solutions for doing this. I didn't realize, Dave didn't realize how big of an install is an SVJ wrap. Oh, there's probably 80 parts on this car. So the whole body is basically modular. Washing the teardown was, oh, we've seen a lot of cars come apart. This was the craziest. The craziest of the crazy. How many pieces to this car? How so many hours pieces. of disassembly? Four nights in total. So two to disassemble, two to reassemble, yeah. and three guys working on it. Total of 40 hours yeah. to, just to tear the car down. Check this out right here over top of the steering wheel. They again wrapped some of this pattern right over top of the gauge cluster. I love it. What do we do in standing here? I think it's time we take it out. Get the uh, Gintani F1 exhaust nice and hot. Shoot some flames, make some noise. Go meet some friends up in Beverly Hills and have a little bit of fun without going to jail today.
but there's no other cars in the race. That's who Jay looks awesome. I love camo. Okay, guys, we're off to Rodeo. I'll go see Alex Troy. Oh, we're going to the hotel to relax for the evening. No, this is DD. They want action. <laughs> Oh jeez, you've been there the whole time. I kid, I kid you guys. I have to interrupt today's vlog to thank our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. But to be really honest with you guys, sometimes I add some laughs and some jokes and some weird stuff to my plugs, but Skillshare is actually really legit and I've been using it for years ever since they first sponsored us. We all have 24 hours in a day. We can all accomplish the same amount of things. It's how you spend your time wisely that will either benefit you or be your detriment. And that's why I love Skillshare. I can literally jump into any class at any time. There's even an app. What's really cool about Skillshare, they offer thousands of classes for creative people on lots of different topics, but they also have an online community where you can meet other people just like you looking to grow their skill set. Networking is key, especially if you're trying to develop a career out of this. Now, this doesn't have to be about making money. This is about something that you just love. You love photography for you. For me, it was screenwriting. I wrote screenplays years ago that were awful. Now, had I had Skillshare, there's actually classes in here, and you also network with people that are also writing screenplays and you can learn from them, which honestly, in the business world, networking is everything. Skillshare has been created specifically for learning, which means yes, no ads, which is the best part. No ads to skip, just get straight to the content. They're also always launching new premium classes. So you can say focus and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Now to get specific, I've taken a few of these classes on video editing. If you ever want to be a YouTuber, editing is everything. Now I've never edited before. Damon edited before Jamie came along. Now Jamie, you son of a bitch told me you went to film school. Jamie didn't. Jamie self-taught thanks to places like Skillshare. You can learn how to edit epic vlogs just like DDE does and maybe you could replace Jamie who lied on his resume. There it is you guys. Final Cut Pro X Essentials from newbie to YouTuber. Newbie? YouTuber. Let's get straight into this class. How's it going everyone? My name is John and I'd first like to welcome you to Final Cut Pro X Essentials. I will be your mentor throughout this course where I guide you on how to edit and create professional looking videos on Final Cut Pro X. So it's perfect for beginners. You can see over here there's 23 lessons inside of this class. Jamie, you're done. I'm taking over the edits. I always say I know my screen's really dirty, but this is life on the road, you guys. I don't sit still. Now as you know, I tell a ton of jokes. I try to be funny all the time. And I joke about that. I Road Damon's coattails to success through DDE. The truth is, is that I was given uh, not an easy path, but I was given an opportunity. And there's opportunities every day, like I'm giving you right now. Now for me, I had to learn a ton of new skills and really push myself beyond my comfort level. I never planned on being on camera. I was even behind the scenes doing brand deals. Well, look at me now. Skillshare was one of those tools that helped me get to where I am. So this is your opportunity right now. This is your moment of Damon walking into Starbucks saying, hey, I have something for you. In this case, it's Skillshare. Click the link right now. The first 1,000 of you to do that, We'll get one month absolutely free. You have no excuse. Click the link. Back to the vlog. And we have a problem. McLaren is dead. Literally, I'm driving down the freeway with Dean, and all of a sudden, I'm trying to hit the throttle, and there's nothing there. Ugh. Managed to get it off the freeway with zero power. Engine system fault. How do you pop the trunk? She's dead. Uh, I can't. I can't pop the trunk because it's a 695 LT, it's locked. Let's assess the situation. You can't pop it on this. Nope. You need a special tool. Here's the thing, there's no fuel gauge in this car. Ah. But hold on. I filled up yesterday before we left Beverly Hills and I haven't driven that much. I thought I asked to have to bring us fuel. <laughs> it could be that. Num Nuts just told me that there's no fuel gauge in this banger. What did it do? Lost all power. I didn't shut it off, but I lost power, so I couldn't accelerate. But I could slightly accelerate and coast. Can you turn on now? No, so I'll turn on. It smells like, which is obviously not the situation. Uh, I'm trying to find the battery in the car. Oh, there's the battery. Up front. So that's the gas plant. It's the gas plant. That's the gas plant. Over there. The sulfur. Oh, the lights are still on. That doesn't mean that. The Do whole tub out. Do oh, sorry. We need a breathing apparatus. You know, our smartest play is to put triple gas in it. I almost don't want to do that because I get my ass kicked, but it will actually beat you. No! Beat you. Damon's fault. Hey, there's no one here, so I can beat you. No one will find your body. I could be out of gas. I could be out of gas. Why am I here? Why am I here, Mark? Why are we here? We don't know. Something's wrong. There's Dave's something. stranded, as you've seen, on the other side of the highway somewhere. We have to get gas because... I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it would be amazing if Dave ran out of gas and this solved the problem. That'd be a really easy fix. You know what? I'm a pretty optimistic person, but... <laughs> I don't know, man. I do not know. Building a How much in money? 
25 bucks. This is out of gas. This ball tap I've ever <laughs> But here's the thing. We lost all, I couldn't accelerate. I'm thinking, this car's are shut off on the freeway before it shut off. It literally, I stopped and it shut off. You know what I think it is? Uh, when the fuel pump failed, the pump didn't fail. There's a hose that popped off on the fuel pump. And that's why it wouldn't start. So I'm wondering if that hose popped off again and it failed again. This car looks good, doesn't it? Oh yeah. The McLaren life. McLaren life. When I put on a jacket, do I tell really bad dad jokes? I was gonna say, I'd nearly actually be polite like most Canadians, but you're a <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna be here for a while. So. <laughs> We're gonna get a few more and put them all the way around it. Now, some of you in the audience might think we staged it. I swear to God, I swear on Dean's life. You okay, bro? <laughs> you not. staged it because you were too cheap to put <laughs> on it, that's why. No, it's not that. There's no <laughs> way run out of gas. I've maybe driven 100, 120 miles. You said 25 bucks. Yeah, but I already felt really bad that I keep on topping it up to be safe. You going? You gonna build a slalom? Oh, f***ing guy. It's pretty serious, dude. <laughs> and they're not clipping points because you're kind of f***ing wrong. <laughs> Get him some nice 87. <laughs> Imagine. Oh yeah, you gotta hold this. Yep. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. We want to see some flybys. It won't be supercars. Maybe it will. There's all these cars here, guys. Anybody? I really hope I did not f***ing gas. That would be embarrassing. It's been a f hour. <laughs> Better foot, Damon. Boy, this jacket's nice. Nice. It was four hundred dollars. This thing. Yeah. But from a Porsche dealership. It's not four hundred dollars, does Canadian? It's like three hundred US. It's not flex. <laughs> Okay, now what's he doing? Dean's officially lost his mind. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a run for it. <laughs> yeah, bro, you got this! There I'm back! Go. I'll time you! I'm gonna close my eyes, Dean, so it's more challenging. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Oh, you can't actually do it, though. No, I'm not filming this. Oh, sh Oh my god, there's a peasant supercar! That's <laughs> waving him through. I wonder if I can stop him. <laughs> you. Oh, I didn't stop. Hey, the Wayne scales is over here. Yeah, you skipped the scale. I got gas. Yeah, just in case? Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Let's go look. All right. What's your bet? Fuel or fuel pump issue? Fuel. I think. Up. Why did you pick the smelliest place to stop? I think you should just pour the fuel on the car and just keep going. I already got gas all over my hands filling that thing up. So, so you're already for a race gassed. Car driver. You're already gassed. You got a key? No, my car doesn't take keys. Flex! That has a thing on it because you're in California. Shove it in Shut there. Shut up. It has the valve thing built into it. You can I, see are it. Are you stupid? No, stupid. I've seen it. Okay. Get out. There you go. See that Faust is right there. It's dead. <laughs> a knife. You can listen. A knife. Knife? knife? Yeah. For what? Uh, punch oh, it wait. is. Just punch it is like going twice as fast. Yeah. Five bucks, okay, I'll buy you two more. What pulls out like a big machete and just cuts your hand off? That's just be hilarious. Oh, shoot this! Here it is. It's gonna be really good. What are you doing? What is going on? <laughs> Dude, there's a f***ing over there! You're an idiot. I love you. <laughs> push the thing down. Push it down. With what hand? The valve? Well, you have to push back the two clips on the top. <laughs> you should have put the hole in it. They can't pump that fast. Down two? Wait, what do I do? <laughs> should I pour it on my fingers? No, no, no. Up two things. Ah! I'll tell you if it starts coming out. Oh, uh, there's a little... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. It's oh. just... Pouring fuel out the whole bottom. Oh, dude, just ton of fuel. Thing came undone in your fuel pump. In line. Yeah, it's your. Oh shit. Yeah, it's you're done. You're oh, I didn't run out of gas. It wasn't my fault. It still sucks. Well, though. It still sucks. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> No! What do we do? Dean, we need your trailer. I told you I was gonna have to. No! No, that hurt me! 
Oh my god. What a sh. Hey, catch it. That's expensive at the moment. Where's the smoke from? Oh, that's not good. I'm getting the hell away from this thing. I do not. I do not trust that situation right yeah, now. Yeah, so Alex Gintani said that there's a top beat holes. And by the way, his name's Alex and he has a shop called Gintani, not and Alex Gintani. I Alex from Gintani. Play it back. Alex Gintani said. Uh, beat holes, top of the fuel pump, that popped off. Whatever happened, it also popped the filler nozzle out. So basically, cars not going anywhere. Dean, we have to go get your uh, trailer. <laughs> This is the second DD car, by the way. <laughs> earlier today, I Dean. Got you on a bet. Earlier today, <laughs> Dean. Dean brought the F12, dropped it off at Gintani to fix that car. So now we have two broken McLarens and an F12 we have to fix. This is the third time I'm after breaking down in the last 12 hours. <laughs> Holy. Your truck broke down. Yeah, it's the third time. You also call Mr. C's towing. It might be cheaper to me. Thank you, Dean. I'll pay you. Why do you, you have so many posts? All of a sudden. Get off me, you now. That was bad, that was bad. Hey! Who put that chicken McNugget in my fuel tank? I was trying to stop the leak. It's leaking from the bottom, not the top. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. A dude. real man would well, eat it. Oh, he did! Let's go get a trailer. The good thing he has a big trailer. Start! Start it! Come on, peasants. Do you have pictures? What are you doing in there? Little pictures? Little Irish limericks? No, no, no. That's my little black book of how much money f Dave owes me. I should burn that with the McLaren. <laughs> oh, must be nice to be in a Lamborghini. Truth is, I just want him to leave. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's actually nice, it's a big F350. Is this a six liter or a six seven? It's a six seven. Ah, it's a good one. Yeah. Better one. Yep. What was the best one? If you ask Aaron Kaufman, he'll tell you the six oh all day long. Well, that's a piece of shit. Aaron loves loves problem children, so. <laughs> back there's one small issue the trailer disconnected on the freeway so there's there's that but I have to weigh in to see if you put on any weight all but right now here's the question how do you to neutral it's already in neutral which is cool oh there we go You guys, we were gonna give you a much wilder video, but you got this. It's real. This is real life. Listen to this. Real. Match. <laughs> we're out here on the side of the 405 freezing. I wish you guys could smell how bad it smells here. It's a, it's a fuel line, it's a gas line right there. So Dean thinks. What the Dean know. Dean thought the battery exploded. He goes, I can smell it. I'm like, I smell it. He goes, no. There's a battery, Mike. The car has lights right now, Dean. No one said he was a sharp one. Oh, I got it. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> now I'm just getting fancy. Are we going forward or backwards? This is not a reverse entry onto the trailer. Look this whole car is from fiber. This is the LC model. Dean has a really bad turning radius. You go somewhere not bad turning radius is. I won't start it. He said, I personally would not start it. He's a professional, yeah. he's a professional race car. When's guy. the last time he won a race? I'll well, say this. <laughs> it has nothing to do with winning races, wrecking cars. Uh, go, 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 Jesus Christ! You weren't hitting anybody. The f***ing watching you. I put the lift up. You were panicking. Ah! I got put the lift up. Watching you. Park brakes there and the reverse is there. You didn't hit either of them. I hit both of them. No, you didn't. I watched you. You lying sack of. I didn't hit anything. Guy. Dave's like, I can't push. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all tied up in the cable. He was like, oh, f your phone call. I'm back in a minute. He's a oh. Hey, easy. It's carbon fiber. I feel way better now thanks to all this experience. And that's a wrap. Pretty sure it hit the front. All carbon fiber. We know that, right? Let's get in the channel, though, right?
So by me getting the lift up, literally stayed in front of this car. So think about this, Captain Saul is oh, and loses both engines. The first thing he does is turn the APU on. That's the APU. That's an APU moment right there. Get the lift up. Yeah! Thank you, Dean. I appreciate all your help. At least someone does. Two pieces of looking at the time. <laughs> On our fake Rolexes. Thanks, Uncle Dean, for saving me again. One Dr. Pepper, and that's it. Guys, I had a really fun vlog planned for you guys. I had lots of friends with supercars coming out. But Uncle Dave decided to make it all about him again. Smash the subscribe button, click the link in the top of the description, pick up some DDE car care. It works on broken cars, it works on cars that run, it supports us, helps us make these videos, helps us pay for whatever Dave broke on his McLaren, and we're out, we'll see you in the next video. to apologize on your knees for every bad Irish show you've ever made. I haven't made a bad Irish show. Get on your knees. We haven't made a bad Irish show. Get on your knees. If you can quote one of them, I'll do it. I'll think about it. <laughs>